back. Yeah, you can't have your hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, someone's blocking the auto cue, just yeah. a smidge. Just a Hi guys, welcome to Scuba Chew. Uh, so first off, if you hear any banging in the background, we've got a bit of construction work going on, um, but hopefully the uh, the background music will cover that. Uh, first up, we've got uh, the Great Barrier Reef, unfortunately, is flatlining, uh, but it's not dead yet. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, so reports earlier this month come from Outside Magazine, uh, were saying that the Great Barrier Reef has died, uh, but don't worry, uh, it's still on life support and it hasn't quite flatlined yet. Um, Though 93% of the reef has died, Queensland government have released the first Reef 2050 plan, which will help bring life back to the reef by 2050. That's good. That's um, a convenient name for it as well, isn't it? 2050. <laughs> they thought about that one. Yeah, they thought long and hard. Um, <laughs> the government are planning to invent two billion dollars, or oh, invest, sorry, uh, to the project. Uh, but you won't need to get your. Sorry, someone's blocking the auto cue, just yeah. a smidge. Just a uh, you don't need to get your black armbands out just yet. Um, yeah, the uh, the Great Barrier Reef, God bless it, It's um, it's been around for hundreds and thousands of years. 25 million years. And, uh, and a little it's bit. Nearly as old as my nan. <laughs> Uh, because of us, it's slowly dying. Yeah, isn't it like to do like the two degree temperature, just the rise in temperature? And Coral it's... reef is very, very sensitive to temperature yeah. changes, and yeah, temperature change of one or two degrees is killing off a lot of the coral yeah. species. If you want to see what it actually looks like, we did it in, a, I think it was a weird Wednesday, but we'll mm. put the link up there. It should pop up now, um, and then you can see what actual bleaching is. It's horrible, man. Poor little coral. Uh, so next up, we've got the women's world record for free diving. It's just been broken again. Joanna Nord... Nordblad uh, broke the world record for the free diving under the ice. Chilly man. Oh. What's even worse though, free diving. So it wasn't like, you know, the scuba, they don't have the Arctic gear. A big, a big thick dry suit. Like, but it does help with your uh, mammalian diving reflex because your cold water helps you hold your breath for longer. Okay. Fact. Uh, she dived 50 meters under the frozen surface wearing only a swimsuit and a mask. <laughs> Oh, um, the record was filmed and directed by uh, by Ian Derry uh, and follows her story on how she broke the world record. Uh, the film is beautifully shot uh, and we'll be putting in the uh, the link below in the description. Um, yeah, it is wonderful sort of scuba diving under ice, but free yeah. diving under ice. Yeah, the video is pretty intense and it's not just about that. It's kind of the beginning of the movie tells about Estelle. Uh, I believe, off the top of my head, I can't really remember, but I believe she was in an accident. She broke her legs or broke her leg. So it's kind of she had time to recover and then she, rehab. Yeah, and then she kind of decided to go jump in the Arctic <laughs> and do a bit of free diving. <laughs> but yeah, no, fair place with 50 meters though. I dread to think how cold that actually right. is. Too cold. Too cold. Too cold for me. Uh, so World War One U-boat wreck has been found. So this one only came up sort of yesterday for me. Yeah, um, you pinged it up for me. I don't know yeah. when this is actually going live, uh, but this is still very, very fresh. Um, it was, oh, who was it? Was it like BT or someone? Yeah, I think they're, they're um, laying, they're laying, this is going to, they're laying cable yeah. between Scotland and Wales, or sort of like a trail for either electricity or, or, or some sort of mains. Yeah. So uh, they've been, yeah, they've been, you know, doing all their sonar and checking yeah, what's on Yeah, the... <laughs> it's, it's been like about a billion or a million pound or a couple of million pound project. And then they came across this U-boat wreck. Yeah. Which apparently is the famous, it's been under there for almost 100 years. It sunk in 1918, a German U-boat, um, and it's apparently the, the UB-85. Now, Mark, tell the guys why apparently this is so spectacular and it's not just a, well, they found a U-boat. I love this story. So, uh, so naval folklore says it wasn't sunk by the HMS uh, Coriopsis. Uh, but it was actually huh. destroyed. That's why I got you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was actually uh, destroyed by a sea monster. Uh, the crew of the UB-85 abandoned ship when a beast with the large eyes, a horny sort of skull, uh, so, and uh, teeth... Uh, yeah, a horny horn skull. Skull with horns. Um, just trying to mate. <laughs> and, uh, and teeth that glistened in the moonlight attacked and sunk the ship. Um, well, was it sounds romantic. <laughs> <laughs> glistened in the moonlight. <laughs> They're attacked by a sea monster. <laughs> yeah. um, so, uh, because it was Scotland, obviously we have to get a Nessie reference in. It could have been Nessie doing her part for the uh, for the war. She was, man. It was her. She'd see a hitchhiking, jumped out the net, you know, the lock. Come on! I know there's going to be some German U boats around here somewhere. I know my friend, my friend Jim's already like, oh, do you want to go dive it? Like, oh, we don't know how deep it is yet. <laughs> <laughs> Would be cool though. Yeah. 
Uh, so next up is another, uh, another terrifying attack. Um, this one's been going around social media. You might have seen it trending on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't, the diver was cave diving, uh, not cave diving, cave diving. <laughs> cave diving in Mexico. No, cage diving in Mexico. Uh, when a great white shark, as they're luring it in with the bait, just plows straight into their cage and uh, manages to actually get between the bars. And um, whilst the diver is actually in the cage, <laughs> it's, so... it's, it's mildly terrifying. Yeah. Um, and uh, oh dear. So um, so yeah, the diver was unarmed. Uh, unarmed. unarmed. <laughs> it, it was afterwards. <laughs> it wasn't. He had both his arms. At the end of the video, he pops out. He's just like, yeah, that was an experience. Man. Oh. It was. I couldn't help but laugh. Though. It's terrifying. But when the shark pops out, it's like a shark in a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's pretty scary. Obviously, the shark sort of gets out out of the top of the cage yeah. and swims away, and uh, and they get the diver out safely. But uh, but it's a bit. Oh, maybe smaller holes in your cage, yeah. guys. Well, like, like you, I think we were discussing it when we, we, you know, we saw the clip. What we, what you want to see is the actual diver's footage, yeah. or the person who was next door. That'd be quite cool because obviously the footage is on some mobile phone. Yeah, so whether that pops up, that'd be well cool. <laughs> Okay, uh, back on another world record, which has been smashed in the freediving world. Freedivers, man, breaking yeah. records all the time. Going Let's deeper. Go so, uh, so freediver Harry Chamus uh, has set a new British record. Uh, he freedived to 105 meters in the variable weight discipline. Could do that. 100. <laughs> 105 meters. Uh, the world record was uh, was broke in Calaman. Calamanta in Greece. I love it. It's a British record, but it was broken in Greece. Yeah. But then the guy's British. Yeah, I wouldn't do it in this country. Why not? Uh, it's, it's a bit nicer out in Greece. What are you want about? <clears throat> Clearer waters. Uh, so Harry has never enjoyed the, competi uh, the competitive side of freediving. Irony. <laughs> Um, <laughs> which made him even more nervous with his attempt, uh, but he taught himself to use meditation to drop his heart rate and says that he can enter a place of peace. Uh, and, yeah, because, before he died. Yeah, and because he reached the 105 meter goal and, uh, and after the dive, he said that he felt fresh as a daisy. Um, yeah, that's, yeah cool. that's very nice. 105 meter, that's pretty deep. I mean, you were talking about it. Was it the last scuba tube where they went? They, they found the deepest cave, mm. and that was like the guy could only go to 200 or 215, and yeah. he obviously had twin sets and everything. This guy oh, yeah. didn't have any of that, yeah. and he just went down to 105. Yeah, you used to so, get it out in uh, in Egypt and whatnot when um, you're kind of down at 30 meters on scuba, and then this free diver just goes. Right, Mark, let's take a look at this week's YouTube clip. So the first one is scuba diving in the Santa Rosa wall. It's a really nice clip, very typical scuba-esque diving. Uh, it's beautifully shot. Uh, as I said, like, it follows Steve Dean, that's the guy's name, cool. uh, on YouTube, and his, his, he's diving with his sister Amy as they, you know, they adventure the, 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 the Santa Rosa wall. Uh, crystal clear waters, you see lots of wildlife under there, all, all mm. the corals, yeah, it's just, very stereotypical, but it's really beautifully shot, and yeah, it just looks really, really cool. He has a good camera, it's nice and clear, yeah. crisp images. Yeah, um, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, a little bit blue, but... Um, All right, mister. He just needs to buy a red filter. Um, Do we sell those? Mm, yeah. The <laughs> link. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so freediving on Montague Island is our second pick. More free divers. Uh, so this video follows Georgia Poi Poi Poina 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 uh, as she free dives and goes uh, cray hunting around the Montague Islands. Uh, beautifully shot, and uh, you even get to see some whales. Um, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, oh, it's, like, it was quite funny. Yeah, is um, in the part of the clip she comes up free diving, yeah. and there's like a crab or something or like, <laughs> just on her head. Yeah. It's quite funny. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, a nice bit of free dive into uh, to end your week, as it were. Yeah. So now we have our Netflix pick. Uh, this week we're uh, we're going for Blackfish. Um, What's this? I've never heard of this before. Yeah. Hopefully you've all heard or seen Blackfish. Uh, but this is on Netflix, um, so you, you don't have to buy it. You can just sort of go on uh, on Netflix. And stream it. So um, yeah, this made a huge, huge yeah. change to the, uh, the the marine park environment. Um, and if you've not seen it, um, it's it's not for the light-hearted. It's, not, it's not a happy story. Did you say if you like, is it Sea World? Yeah, Sea World. Yeah, you're not gonna like. <laughs> but then, if you care about welfare of animals, then yeah, this is something that you got to see. Um, it's kind of one that we've been holding off because it's it's 
a pretty popular subject, but we thought, you know what, we've got to mention it, yeah. haven't we? So yeah, if you haven't seen it, it's really cool. It says about all the, all the training and obviously how how they got orcas from the wild and tried to breed them. Yeah. And, uh, it's, as I say, it's a very, very sad story, but it's really interesting. So, you know, it's it just proves how things were done ever so shoddily in the in the 70s and Back 60s. In the days, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, so that's it for this week. If you've got any weird or wonderful stories that you'd like us to talk about, put them down in the uh, in the comments below. If you've got any videos as well um, that you want us to show on next week, uh, put them in the links below. Thanks yeah. for watching, guys, and safe diving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, too quick. No, you've got to do the side oh, bits, yeah. haven't we? Uh, if you like yeah. this video, click on that subscribe button up there. Uh, over here, we're going to have our previous edition of, uh, of Scuba Tube. In the middle, we've got Weird Wednesday. I don't know what we spoke about on Weird Wednesday. Weird Wednesday, it's spider crab. Oh yeah, spider crabs. Come spider crab. Yeah, everywhere. Spider crab. Uh, and down at the bottom, we've got my latest top five video. What should we put up? Top five, either underwater hotels or the future. No, it's the future. The future one. The future, future one. of diving. The future of scuba diving. Yeah, that's quite a popular one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, don't forget to uh, sort of like and share it as usual. Uh, any comments, just put them in the comments below. Cool. Now we can. Thanks for watching, guys, <laughs> and safe diving. Bye.